it takes quite a bit of time, you know, to lay insulation. You gotta make sure, especially if it doesn't fit perfect. And you're going around pipes and plumbing and stuff like that, you gotta cut everything as tight as you can. And then the edges, you know, this, as you can see, those are eight foot sheets, so we got 16 feet. And there's a few inches left over over there, so now we gotta cut strips of it to fit in, it, fit in there. And that's gonna take some time. I like cutting this stuff with my little DeWalt battery saw. That cuts it really easy. That's probably the fastest way to cut this stuff. Just snap a chalk line, measure it out, snap a chalk line right out the styrofoam, and then just zip it off and fit it in. I do have a tiny little hand saw I do carry around me. That's like a big saw, hand saw, that I use for cutting around the, the circles, around pipes, and stuff like that. You can see, just going around a few pipes takes as long as laying a whole piece, a whole big section of that without it. It's just as long or longer. You can imagine what it would be like with uh, you know, a concrete floor that has a ton of plumbing. We had quite a few floors to pour on this project. There was a there's a garage to do, there's an upper floor to do, there's an entryway to do. This is basically the basement floor. And they had to have this floor done before they started doing any of the framing for whatever reason. Um, that's why we're here and we're trying to get this done as quick as we can. We can get this floor in foam because he had a bunch of his framers all lined up and ready to go at, for a certain date. We wanted to make sure we were done and ready for him so he wouldn't have to cancel his framing or delay him. So you can see I had to cut a bunch of those two or three inch strips to fit in there. The good thing about that blue board is it's scored at 16 inches and it's scored right in the middle so if you do need to, to break it right at that, you can break it right with your knee. Now we're putting down the, the sheets of mesh. The ones we get are 5 foot by 10 foot. Those, that size we can put right on, the, right, right on our pickup trucks on the rack and then we just strap them to whatever we have on the rack so it holds them nice and tight. If there were any bigger than that, I wouldn't, you know, we'd have to have a bigger one. So we'll just lay these 5 foot by 10 foot sheets down. We can, you know, we get those at a concrete supply store. We have two or three of them pretty local to us. One is, uh, one is like a white cap construction. I think they call them HD Supply. And then the other one's just a local store. We like the flat sheets a lot better than the rolls because they lay nice and flat. And then we'll just pull that up into the concrete as we pour. Sometimes we have these metal pieces called slab bolsters we'll put under them to hold them up. But we didn't have any today. They were out of them. They were out of stock. So we're just laying this down. We'll pull it up when we pour it in. We cut these just with a basic bolt cutter. We cut, this stuff cuts really easy. This is what they consider the light gauge stuff it's about 10 bucks a sheet they do have a heavier gauge it's about twice the thickness of the metal or the steel and those are about twice the money too 